the retrosynthesis workflow predicts metabolic pathways for the production of compounds. Retropath 2 uses reaction rules to search for a retrosynthetic network that would link the compound one wishes to produce, the target, to the set of available precursors that could be used as starting materials, the sink. From this, RP2 pass enumerates the pathways that lie in this predicted network. The final step, complete reactions, consists of refining the pathways by putting back the substrates and co-products omitted during the retrosynthesis step. At the end, each pathway is output into a distinct SBML file that can be used by other SBML compliant tools. Here is the retrosynthesis workflow as it appears in the Galaxy Workflow Editor. We can see the three main steps, RetroPass2, RP2Pass, and Complete Reactions. The inputs are the inchi of the target to produce and the strain we want to produce the target from in SBML format. The set of reaction rules is automatically downloaded from RetroRules database and the sink is extracted from the strain model. To run Retrosynthesis Workflow, go to Shared Data menu and select Workflows. Then choose Retrosynthesis, click on it and choose Run. OK, now we can set inputs for the workflow. We choose here to produce the Lyca pin. We fetch its inchi online and we put it in the dedicated location. Then we choose the strain where we want to produce the Lyca pin from. Here it's E. coli IML 1515. We can set all parameters of each step by clicking on different nodes of the workflow to modify them. OK, so we can click now on Run Workflow and see its execution in the history on the right panel. At the end of the execution, we can see that nine pathways have been predicted to produce the lycopin in E. coli. We can click on the collection and access to each different pathway. Download it or read it. We can also visualize the set of pathways at the glance by using the SynBioCAD visualization tool. By clicking on the icon, the set of pathways appears and one can interact with it. We can show the cofactors and we can highlight each pathway by hovering it in the top left window. If we click on a compound, we can see the details in the right panel. In the same way, if we click on a reaction, its characteristics appear in the right panel. Finally, one can see enzymes that catalyze the reaction.